Hello everyone, welcome back to the Superverse and episode 3 of the Human Nation Trifecta. Today we have two very special guests. Introduce yourselves, Mark DiCarlo. I'm Mark DiCarlo. And Uncle Al. Hello, I am Al. Today on Hugh Nation, we have the Hugh Nation Trivia Quiz with who better than both Hughes themselves. Mark, how are you involved with Hugh Neutron? Uh, I <clears throat> provided the voice for Hugh Neutron in both the film and the television series on Nickelodeon. I am the one true Hugh. And Al, what is your involvement in Hugh Neutron's life? Uh, I, I make some, uh, some brain-dead uh, diarrhea for the internet. Uh, I do impressions of Hugh Neutron, and, uh, yeah. But do you think you have what it takes to take on the one true Hugh? We're about to find out. Mark, how would you say your, uh, knowledge is on the show and your character? Probably not as good as Al's, and I really don't want to be sprayed with digital diarrhea, so I'm going to unfurl a real, my like, clear shit screen there. <laughs> Probably a good move, yeah. Well, here's the thing. with the We would record something, and it wouldn't even be on TV for, like, nine or ten months. And by that time, uh, maybe it's out of our minds. Maybe it's not. We're going to find out. Did you study, oh. Al? Did you, did you study? Did you go back and watch all the episodes three or four times? I did not. We're going off the top of the head here. Well, you know, that's... Uh... This is going to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> You're like really enticing your viewers. It's a dumpster fire and diarrhea. So welcome, everyone. Welcome to the internet. You guys ready to go? We're ready. Oh, yeah. All right, question number one. What is Hugh's favorite intergalactic cable sitcom as seen in Win, Lose, and Kaboom? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Uh, hmm. Mark! Mark, what is your answer? Good morning, Uranus. Wonderful answer, but no. Mm. Al, you have a chance to steal the answer. Uh, oh, Are you man. going to take it? Uh, no, what's the consequence if I get it wrong? Only time you get a consequence, probably should have said earlier, is if I don't finish reading the question and then you get it wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh... The only other consequence is you just look like an idiot. <laughs> well, I, I think I'll take that one because I have no idea. <laughs> the answer is Andromeda 90210. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, Andromeda 90210! Yeah! Can't we just watch the commercials? There are zero points on the board, and we're off to a great start. Now, I also don't know what order the questions are in. I wrote them all up, got all the answers, but I, I shuffled them. So there is just as out there as it is to you. So that's not necessarily the easiest question, the one you no, just wrote. There's no. Because if it's the order. easiest question, we might as well just stop now. Yeah. <laughs> For real, yeah. There's no specific <laughs> order whatsoever. This one might be an easier question. You don't have to get it exactly right, word for word, but give me a concept. What is the one thing Hugh has canonically stated is better than pie? Do, 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 do. Yeah, Mark. Mark. Ducks? That's wrong. No! Oh! Al, would you like to steal the points? Could it possibly be Purple Flurp? It's wrong. It's the Quantum Rewind three uh, 9000 that allowed Hugh to warp time and space. Hugh Neutron, mm -hmm. I will not have you tampering with the laws of physics. Oh, come on! Now you march right back and give that back to Jimmy immediately! Um, this is better than pie. Here's another one that's a minor detail on an episode, so... You guys might be screwed again. But... So I'm sure we're gonna get it. Hey, three questions in and we're doing great. Hugh trips and chases what snack into the worm wormhole generator when he goes to the set of Intergalactic Showdown? He chases what are snack? Sh are you sure these are from Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> these, uh, nothing uh, rings a bell. <laughs> hmm. He's in charge of watching the children's progress on the Intergalactic Cable Network. They finally fire up the wormhole generator 
They're going to the planet to save their kids. Hugh drops what snack, chases it, and then shuts off the portal by accident. Hmm. Mark! Pizza? I didn't even realize you buzzed in there. Oops. All right. Uh, nope, you're wrong anyway. <laughs> Al! Pizza would have been my guess, too. I got nothing. <laughs> you, want, you want to take a wild guess? You're not losing anything. Uh, um, hmm. I don't know. Um, d duck legs? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Such a valiant effort, but no. Not at all. Ducks are our friends, not food. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> True. What's the yeah, answer? You got me there. The answer was nachos. All right, everyone, who wants nachos? Two. Do you guys think... Alright, no. I really hope... We will, but go ahead and ask it anyway. Alright. What will Hugh never forgive his mother for? <laughs> Mark! Mark. Forcing him to breastfeed until the age of 17. <laughs> <laughs> no, but great answer. 16? <laughs> Honestly, that brings you closer to the answer. But no, Al, you're hinted it has something to do with the age of 16. Hmm. For, for not uh, not throwing him his 16th birthday party. Wrong. <laughs> he refused, she refused to get him an octopus man costume for Halloween on account of it being too scary for a 16-year-old. I wanted to be octopus man for Halloween when I was a lad, but mother wouldn't buy me the costume. Said it was too scary for a 16-year-old. I'll never forgive her for that. Never! <laughs> a little side note here. Phyllis Diller played Hugh's mom on the series. Delightful, talented Phyllis Diller. Well, all you folks can Google her and see who she was. She was wonderful. And now moving on to the next question. Hey, why don't you and recap the score, Joe? Recap the score before we move on. Ah, it's neck and neck. <laughs> so people <laughs> can keep track. <laughs> ah, let, let them figure it out on their own. All right, here's here, here's a good one. I'm hoping someone can pick up on this. This is a, you know, in sorry, wrong er era where Hugh has the quantum replay and is, you know, fucking with time and space. There was a lot of things he did, and this is um, one of them. Hugh makes a mother experience what repeatedly? Uncle Al. Al. The miracle of childbirth. <laughs> that is correct. We have a goddamn point on the board. Yes, Al! Ooh, Way to it's go! About, it's about time, all right. <laughs> if you're just joining us, Uncle Al just got the first point in the entire goddamn game. And the answer was childbirth. Well, if you're going to start someplace, that's a good place to start. You know, remember how I promised I'd never be brought home by an angry mob again? He disgusted all my customers, yeah. He gave us brain freeze! He made me experience the miracle of birth again and again and again! Yeah, yeah, birth. Yeah. Yeah. All right, on to the next one. Hugh's main hobbies are all about pies, ducks, but one other thing, too, that came about when he was supposed to go get groceries and decided to spend the money on something else. What was it? Mark. Mark. Hookers and tequila? As much as I would have loved to see it, that's not the right answer. I can see him being a hopscotch kind of guy. Sorry, that's wrong. I'll give you guys one last chance each. I'll give you a hint. The episode that first happened in was Attack of the Twonkies. What was the question again? What was the third hobby Hugh took up while he was supposed to go get groceries but spent the money on something else? Oh, 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 oh! Mark. Tweaking Twonkies. <laughs> he would tweak them. No. No. Al, would you like to steal the goddamn answer? I got nothing. That's uh Ventriloquism. Later, Dad. Oh right. 
Oh, I do remember that now. He did a ventriloquist act. (laughs) This is just a, this is a fun bonus because so far you guys just suck. (laughs) Sing the cool as can be song from Daddy-O, the episode Daddy-O, Trouble with Daddy-O. Who wants to go first? Who, Who thinks they can do the best recreation of that song? Always can be. Mark! Alcan. I say <laughs> Alcan. Oh. oh, man. You got your pipes ready? <laughs> I guess so. I have no idea what I'm singing, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll make something happen. Mark, you want to start it off and let Al follow? Yeah, I'm cool. Cool. Cool, Hugh. I'm cool and I'm wearing cool clothes. And there's a, 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 a cotton panel in my jeans, which is very cool. <laughs> Is that it? No. <laughs> this is the part of the episode where we cue the actual song. If you're looking for cool, you're looking for me. They don't teach it in school, like math or history. It's a state of mind. It's something you got. This gets cool, and this gets not. If, if you got a verse right, I would have given you a point. Well, I got it right at some point, clearly. In the like past. Fif- it's like right. 17 cool years ago. Car, right, right. It was like yeah. 17 years ago. I can't tell if you guys just have bad memories or I watched Jimmy Neutron way too much. Could be both. Yeah, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, you know. What was Hugh elected as in junior high? <laughs> what position did he yeah, I, Well, I don't know. I... Uncle Al. Al. Class clown. Good answer, but no, that's not right. Hey, you still got a point. That's great. Mark, you want to steal the answer? Yeah, it was dictator for life. (laughs) Close. Towel boy. Yes, that's what I meant. Same thing. For a bonus point, can you guess any of his motto slogan? Any of his what? Any part of his slogan motto. Slogan and motto are the same thing. Sorry, campaign motto, campaign slogan. I don't English. Campaign. Well. Sl- I'll, I'll go with campaign slogan. <laughs> a vote for okay. Hugh is a vote for you. That's an excellent, excellent guess. But no, that's not it. Al, you got any idea? Hmm. I'm high as pie in the sky. God, these are all better answers than what it actually is. <laughs> Vote for Hugh. If you can't trust him with your dirty, smelly, wet laundry towels, who can you trust? Well, Jimbo, I'm no stranger to politics myself. I was elected towel boy in junior high. My motto was, vote for Hugh. If you can't trust him with your dirty, smelly, wet laundry towels, who can you trust? (laughs) It's got a ring to it. It does have a ring to it. It doesn't fit well on a button, though, but I bet it worked. In the episode Battle of the Band... There was a running gag where Hugh would come on and try to encourage the boys and get wish them luck. What was the line that was said about four or five times throughout the entirety of the 11-minute segment? Yeah, Uncle Al. Really simple. Al? I don't know if this is the whole thing, but I, I vaguely remember, like, have fun with it. And that's a point for Al. You kids, good luck tonight, and remember, have fun with it. You kids, good luck tonight, and remember, have fun with it! Is the correct answer. If you're just joining us, second point in the entire game, the score is now 2-0. Al. I don't even know why I'm writing down on tallies what the score is. I thought I was going to have to, but... (laughs) (laughs) That's clearly not, that's clearly not necessary. (laughs) Maybe that'll change. All right, here's another singing challenge. Who can sing Donut Boy? Yeah, Mark. Mark. I think I can actually get this one. This is the chorus. Donut Boy! Donut Boy! Who's the guy with the something something? Donut Boy! It's close enough. I mean, shit. Yes! He's a super cool cop that always gets the bad guys. Donut Boy, that's me. Yeah. That works. I'll take it. Mark gets a point. Fuck it. Is this the scene where Donut Boy sings the Donut Boy theme song? Hmm? 
Who's the super cool cop? It always gets the bad guy. Donut that boy! That's me, yeah. He brings a delicious assortment of sweet delights. Donut that boy! Got a creamy filling. No, this is the scene where you get lost! It's kind of a takeoff on Shaft. And this next one, this is going to be pick the false answer. So I have three true answers and one false. Which one is false? A. Hugh played baseball as a kid. B. Refused pie when he was going through his cool phase. C. Used the rewind to eat the same sandwich four times. Or D. Paid 125 bucks for a free school venue. <laughs> Uncle Al. Al. I'm going with the, the school venue. That's wrong. He did indeed pay $125 to get into the Battle of the Bands for the talent show. Oh, well, that was nice, but I think Jimmy and his friends will be even better. Yeah, they better be. I paid 125 bucks for these tickets. Hugh, this is a free school function. Dude, darn scalpers. Uh, I'm going to say he refused pie. That was also true. When he came home from the candy bar and Judy tried offering him pie, he already ate at the club, as he said. What I find funny and that the internet has not picked up on is these days when you say he's a cake man, that means he likes ass. And Judy walks back into the kitchen going, he must be a cake man now. I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised no one's picked up on that, to be quite honest. Oh, man. It's inevitable. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen at some point. <laughs> I might as well get the ball rolling now. Get the ass ball rolling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who wants a hot slice of pie? I ate at the club. Dad turned down pie? This is serious. Maybe he's a cake man now. Or tarts. Oh, goodness. It's off to the kitchen with me. In the first Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, Judy Neutron transforms into Mighty Mom, fighting dust bunnies and dirt with her fateful sidekick, Blank. Yeah, Uncle Al. Al. I think it was Lint Boy, wasn't it? That is correct. Lint Boy. It's my faithful sidekick, Lint Boy. It's Lint Man. Into your spandex leotards, Lint Boy. We've got to scour this town of evil. Your spandex? I get it. You want to play one of those uh, special games, eh? All right, but let me chase you this time. Look at me, I'm flying! I was going to say Goddard. He was the original Roomba. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean... If you think about it, kind of, but, uh, no. That's, that's not it, though. Th that, that has nothing to do with Hugh, Mark. What? Wait, what? I'm trying, I'm trying, Joe. I'm trying. It's like you're talking Chinese to me. <laughs> Lint boy, quick! To the mom lair! And <laughs> now you're talking. Hey! <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't even mean to do this on purpose, but, uh, here's a follow-up to that, pretty much. Uh, in Jimmy Timmy Power Hour 1, he was hunted down by what character turned decimator? Mark! Uh, I'm going to say the penguin from the Batman movies. Burgess Meredith or other? The Danny original, Bird Burgess Meredith. Burgess. Great answer. Would love to see it. But no, Burgess Meredith was not the decimator in Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. <laughs> Al? I, th I think it was Goddard, wasn't it? That's correct. It was Goddard. Heal, boy, stay! Stay! Duh. Good, giant mechanical gutter. Good, good, stay! What? <laughs> 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 You knew all these questions off the top of my head, or you actually researched these questions, Joe? I knew 85% of them, and then just to make up a couple extra, I, I did go up and look up some episodes and look at some stuff. I, I tell you, I watched a lot of this shit growing up, and I still do. It's kind of sad. <laughs> at least you're retaining uh, it. I am retaining it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo, is a reference to what Japanese property? Mark, if you get this, I'll shit myself. Now I'm motivated. Yes! 
<laughs> Mark. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say, I don't know. I'm going to say Al probably knows. I do know. <laughs> Buzz on uh, in, Al. Buzz on in. Be, uh, oh, yeah, I guess I can do that. Uncle Al. Buy Al, him. what's the answer? Oh, is it uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? It is Yu-Gi-Oh. Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. It is indeed Yu-Gi-Oh. Mark, if it see that you feel meme. Better, I, I see that meme everywhere. That meme is all over the place. I voiced it for a bunch of people. I didn't. I thought it was something from Jimmy Neutron. No, completely different property. I honestly didn't know it was from up until not that long ago myself. Yeah, that, that's always one of the the more popular ones that you see going around of you. And now we know where it came from. Thank you, Joe, and thank you, Internet. Here's another multiple choice question. Mark, I'd like to refresh you that you're down four points. It's a five-to-one lead with Uncle Al ahead of you. And we still have plenty of questions to go. And oh, plenty good. for you guys both to get wrong, so don't feel bad about not catching up right away. You look defeated. Me? Yeah. I'm in it to win it, baby. I'm in it to win it. How many episodes of Jimmy Neutron, including the TV movies and specials, has Hugh appeared in? A, 54. B, 69. C, 63, or D, 70? We're looking for the right answer? We're looking for the right answer. It's a multiple choice. Which of the numbers? Mark! Has he, Mark, what do you got? I'm going to say 54. 54 is not correct. God! <laughs> Al, do you have hmm. an answer? I got 69, 63, and 70. I'm going to go... 63. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> I think he we did 66 guess. total. Guess. <laughs> well, it depends on if you talk about segments, specials, and episodes as a whole here. There was actually 65 if you include Jimmy Timmy Power Hour 1 and 3, and 67 if you include a small cameo of him frozen in carbonite in Power Hour 2, and him in the audience as a cameo in Crouching Jimmy Hidden Sheen in Season 3. This one I did research on because I didn't know the answer. I, they didn't list all the different appearances he was in online, so I literally had to go in and remember he was in this one. Yes, he was in this one. Yes, he was in that one. And I have to watch all of them through to see if I even saw Hugh. So that's what I did for an hour today. Well, I, time well spent. Your dedication is impressive, Joe. It's impressive. <laughs> I can't tell if it's impressive or just depressing. It could be both. Yeah, it's a, it's a good mix. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, as Al would say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice little mix there. <laughs> Hugh and Judy leave Jimmy with the Weezers to attend what festival out in the desert? Uncle Al. Ow. I think it was Burning Duck. Is that what it was? It was the Burning Duck Festival out in the desert. I knew it was Burning Something. Yeah, well, that's what Burning Duck is all about, Weezer, my man. We're gonna let it all hang out. Groove to a natural scene. Might even toast some marshmallows. Honey, put your pants on. You can groove when we get to the desert. That was a good episode. I like. I, I really enjoyed that one. That was uh, Mighty Weezers. Keep it real, Jimbo. Go with the flow. If you're somehow just joining us and not enjoying this all the way through, we are at a seven-point lead with Uncle Al, and Mark has one point. But there's still plenty of questions to go. Thank goodness. I know, right? I can still catch up. The, aren't we having the best of times? Yeah. When Jimmy went away to college, Hugh coped by starting a circus of fleas. What were two of the three names? <laughs> Mark. Yeah, Mark. A tough one. Gary? Nope. I'll give you one hint. They all have to do with the name Jimmy. Mark. Mark. Jim Jimbo, Jim Jam, and Gymnasium. You got two of the three. Jim Jam and Rooney was the big one, and Jimbo was one, and the other was the Jimster. So you get a total of three points. It's always been my dream to have my very own tiny flea circus. Oh. I think I'll call you Jimbo. You can be the Jimster. Oh, and you are definitely Jim Jammery. Whoop! Yes! 
I'm breathing down your neck, Al. Mark DeCarlo is back in the race now. We have a total of seven points on Al and three on Mark. All right. Next up, there's plenty of answers this could be, but I know which ones are false if you give it to me. Or at least I think I do. Name three of Hugh's pet names for Judy and say it in your Hugh voice. Mark. Mark. Yeah, sugar booger. That's one. Crotchless cutie? <laughs> if only. If only. Honey, bu honey bunny? No. Uh, I don't believe so. Sugar booger's the only one I know. Well, you get one point on that. Al, here's your shot to get three points. Can you give me three other names? Oh, man. Any... Well, there was Sugar Booger. I knew gotta, that one. And remember, <laughs> you got to a... say it in your Hugh voice or you don't get the oh. points. <laughs> the, uh, honey Bun? <laughs> nope. You got, two... you got two more shots. I think two shots would help us get these answers better. <laughs> it couldn't hurt. Oh, man. No, nah, I got nothing. I don't know. Other possible answers would have included Butter Biscuit, Booger of My Eye, Mistress of Meticulousness, and more. Yeah, you like what you see, baby? Butter Biscuit? I can't tell. Is this a mole or just a scaly patch? All right, I'm coming right behind you, my Mistress of Meticulousness. Hey, Booger of My Eye, I think I got them all. Sugar Booger, come quick. Jimmy's new show is Funkerific. Yeah, but... Butter Biscuit. I took the day off so I could spend time in my workshop. That's all! Sugar Booger, that show had everything! Well, that's a great idea, Sugar Booger. Yeah, Sugar Booger, what should I do? Honey, I'm home! Did you get the groceries? No. Sugar Booger? Why are you looking at Flippy like that? Yeah, that's it! Pew! Dimple Dumpling, you're a genius! Sugar Booger, how's my little bundle of fun? Oh, Hugh, what a perfect way to spend Valentine's Day. Yeah, and there's no one else I'd rather spend it with, Puddin' Pants. Here comes Mr. Walking in. <laughs> I'm walking in the Oh, Hugh! <laughs> I got so caught up in this hot monkey action, I, I forgot to give you this. Here, Butterbonnet, will you be my Valentine? Oh, Hugh! Of course I will. Butter biscuit. I knew that one. I knew it. <laughs> it was locked Booger away. of my eye. I love that. <laughs> hey, he's coming. He's coming up on you, Al. He's got four. You got seven. He's only three away from meeting up Ooh. with you. Oh, man. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting him to get that much closer, so. Get your shit together. <laughs> neck and neck. Hugh sat on a life-changing banana at what age? Uh, Mark. Mark. It's either six or nine. I think six. Is that your final answer? Nine. Is that your final answer? One of them is. I think it's six. I'm going to go with six. You're wrong. Damn it. Is it nine? I don't know. Al, do you think it's nine or something else? Of course it is. I'll say nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's also wrong. Oh. <laughs> and that's how I fell in love with Pi. <laughs> oh, a great story, Dad. You want to hear it again? No, no thanks. thanks. Yeah, I don't mind. Once when I was seven years old, I sat on a banana. And of course, that changed my life. Uh, so what are you working on, Jimmy? Close. Very, Very close. You, yeah, you I got mean... close without going over. If this is Price is Right, I would get credit for that one. Yeah. When Dean Kane came to recruit Jimmy for Pomona College, name one of the inventions Hugh used to demonstrate Jimmy's abilities. There were two inventions he used to show the Dean he was college material. Do, 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 do. Mark! Mark. His, ro his rocket. Jimmy's no. rocket. That's it's flying all over the place. It was not his rocket. I'll give you one more shot since there are two answers you could go with. Goddard. Goddard was present, but he was not shown off as a way to uh, show off. His Al, would you like to steal the points? Oh, I'm going to guess um, his jetpack. It was in the episode. It was a predominant thing in it, but no. What about, uh, I think it was called the hypercube. It was not the hypercube. Good guesses, but no. 
The answers were anti-gravity discs and the cheese ray. Hey, Dino, have you checked out Jimbo's anti-gravity discs? <laughs> Jimmy? Oh, I don't know. What does your father think? Oh, I think it's a great opportunity. Time for our little Jimbo to become a man. Can I keep the cheese ray? The cheese ray. <laughs> Current score is four, Mark. Al is at seven. All right, this one, this one might be a giveaway just because of one of our earlier questions. Who is Hugh's favorite horror movie monster? <sighs> Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what was he pissed at his mother for? Was it his birthday party? Didn't know. No. Oh, that was the wrong answer. It yeah. was a good one, though. Uh, favorite horror movie monster? Um, she, she wouldn't buy him the costume of this monster. Uh... I don't know. Uh, octopus man. Oh, the octopus oh man. right, octopus yeah. man. Oh my god. Yeah. I was gonna say, Senor Squid. It's Octopus Man. <gasps> Me love you. Would that have counted? <laughs> At this point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's pretend I said it. If you weren't so close to Al, I would have. Um, Fair enough. Believing he became delusional from the heat in the summer, it starts to snow, and Hugh becomes what animal? Uh, Mark. Mark. Reindeer. God damn it, no. Man, I don't know. Uh... Throw a hint your way. He goes first, and then acts out the animal. The, the noise has nothing to do with the animal, but I'm hoping it leads you to remembering the scene. Uncle Al. A monkey. It is a monkey! Holy shit, yes! It's a monkey! Whew. Intense UV radiation has made me delusional. I'm a monkey. I remember that now, The I'm a monkey! Mark, if the show comes back, you gotta watch your ass. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to watch all of these shows again. To remember. <laughs> if this was like they you had to remember everything from the show to get your role back, you'd be fucked. Oh I yeah, I'd lose. I would totally lose. Unless I, I was given some time to study. But we do it for you, the fans. So all you have to do is sit your ass down and watch the hilarity play out from beginning to end. You're welcome, Joe. It sounded like a lot of fun though working on that show. It's like every time you tell me about it, I'm like so jealous about all the fun shit that you guys would do. It sounded like yeah, it all I did, the time. Yeah, it I like did better then than I'm doing here. Yes. This one, you may or may not get. It, it, I don't really know. This this is kind of challenging with this. Same time, maybe. Well, if you thought we were going to get any of the ones previous to this, we're probably not going to get this one. <laughs> this is but I have faith in Al. I got faith in Al. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'm a little what? shaky. What classic music group does Hugh enjoy and even started singing one of their songs in the episode Time is Money when they went back in 15 years in the past to try to make Hugh work with McSpankies and become rich? It sounds so familiar, but I can't remember. I, hmm. These are all really clever premises. All right, this is basically going to be a rush to the buzzer because I really hope that once I start imitating what he did, you're going to get it. Ah, 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 ah. Mark! Mark. Staying alive, the Bee Gees. It was the Bee Gees. And, and I'm sure Al knew that. Now he's now he's not even trying. He's giving me <laughs> he's giving no. me pity points, Al. <laughs> that one was all you. You uh you got that one. <laughs> I just love those three guys with the high pitched female type voices. Look at you go, Mark. Five points. I had to put a slash through the tally marks this time. It's not dead yet, folks. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> All right, this one. I might be the only person out there that knows this. 
In the video game Attack of the Twonkies, what part of the house does Hugh lock himself in? Whoever buzzes in first will have three tries. You get it right on the first try, you get three points. Second try, two points. Third try, one point. Oh, go out. Oh. I have no idea. What? <laughs> the basement? No. The attic? No. Jimmy's lab? No. Mark? Kitchen? No. The roof? No. What room, Mark? What room in the house? The roof room. Um, the uh, bathroom? No. no. The answer was garage. Well, let's see. I was looking for something for your mom, then the knob came off the door. That means... I'm lost? Can you describe what's around you? Well, let's see. Uh, there's some benches, a few tools, a car. A car? I guess that means you're in the garage. Right you are, Jimbo. Do you think you can give the old man a hand? <laughs> Thanks, Jimbo. Yeah, I better go find your mother. And <laughs> not a room in the house. Yes, it is. It's a separate it, thing. It's connected to the house. It directly gets you from the kitchen into the garage. There's a doorway right there. I would posit that a garage is different from a house. Otherwise, it would be part of a house. It's but a garage. Roof, but the roof. It's where the you. car sleeps, Joe. People don't sleep in a garage. Cars sleep in a garage. But people sleep on the roof. Some people do. Some people sleep in the garage. Mm -hmm. With All their right. cars running. <laughs> sleep forever. Oh, yeah. This one I didn't even know. If you get it, you, you've, uh, this is going to be a 3 two, one question like the last one, where you get three points and then two points and one point. But if you get it, you might as well just win the game because I'm going to be so fucking impressed. What is Hugh's middle name? Do, 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 do. Mark. Mark. Beaumont! Holy shit, how did you just... Ah! <laughs> Woo! Hugh Beaumont Neutron! Woo! Yeah! That's just three points for Mark. You guys are tied. That's the only question I've actually known this entire time. I saw your eyes light up and I was like, oh my god, he's going to answer this. <laughs> but I was hoping you got it wrong. It would have been even funnier, but... Now, it, it was Beaumont, a reference to Leave it to Beaver. Correct. Oh, okay. Holy shit. shit, Mark. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Thanks to Jimmy's forget blaster, Hugh and Judy cannot remember what part or parts of their marriage. This is a two-part question. You get a point right for every part of it you get right. <sighs> Mark. Mark. Their wedding and their honeymoon. <laughs> One of them is... I'll, I'll give it to you. Their second honeymoon. They do remember their wedding, but there is some other thing they forgot. I'll give you another shot at it, and then I'll s send it to Al if you don't get it. Uh, I have no idea. Al, do you know the answer? Man, I have no idea either. I would have guessed wedding anniversary, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The correct answer was their entire fifth year of marriage. Oh my god. Alright. Don't couples usually go on in second honeymoons? We had one of those, but thanks to a certain young genius and his forget blaster it was wiped out of our brains. Oh, yeah. Along with the entire fifth year of our marriage. I do so wish I could remember that year. Yeah. Do you think I had pie? <laughs> Asking the, the real questions here. <laughs> right, the important questions. Real, questions. real important questions. Mark is now in the lead, nine to eight. I, I, how many more? How many questions are left? Only only a handful. Ooh. We're getting to the end. We've gone through at least 20 of them. I see one drop of sweat on Al's forehead. Now he's starting <laughs> to worry. Down. <laughs> Got some catching up to do. I swear to God. Mark, if you get this, I'm, I will shit myself on spot. You just said that. You should have already shot yourself because I knew Beaumont. I know, but this one, I'd be impressed. You don't do internet things. You got double the load to live up to here. <laughs> okay, here we go. In the internet viral video from 2013, Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour, what is the quotable meme line from Hugh Neutron? Do, 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 do. Mom! 
Mark. Mark. Jimbo? It's a good guess. There is a lot of Jimbo here and there, but uh, that's that's not it. This video has almost 18 million views. I think I know which video you're talking about. It's a really poorly animated one where Judy's just a PNG and... I remember, I don't know if this was Hugh's line, but I remember the pizza is aggressive. That is the Jimmy line from, that is Jimmy's line that's quoted all the time. That's, that's Jimmy's line. That's what I, I can remember that from that, but I don't remember. That's, that's a good, that's a good guess. You're awfully close. You're awfully close. It is bond with me, Jimmy. Now it is time for father son bonding. Bond with me, Jimmy. Bond with me. Okay. Mark, I'll have to send you a link after the recording. Okay, sure. <laughs> what is Hugh's favorite type of pizza? Do, 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 do. It's real outlandish. Do, 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 Candy pizza? Do, 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 do. You gotta buzz in, Ow. Thank you for buzzing in. <laughs> pizza pie. <laughs> That's a hell of a guess. Yeah, that's oh, no. a great. I would get. I think you should get a point for that. That's a good guess. I, that is a really good guess. I will give you a point for that. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a good answer. But no, that's that's not it. Mark, would you like a crack at it? Uh, Snickers pizza. It is hot fudge and anchovy. Mom sent me down to tell you boys it's time to give me a piece of pizza. <laughs> Fudge and Shelby, my favorite. Oh, mm. Carry on with your crazy sleepover thing. Kind of close. Kind of close. You, you, were, you were getting there. You were on the money. Man. You guys are tied back up now with nine and nine. Wow, this is exciting. Seven more questions to go. This is anybody's game at this point, and I'm, I'm having a hell of a time. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's fine by me. I'm having, great, I'm having a good time. <laughs> when trying to sleep. Hugh lists all types of pie descending alphabetically. However, he always misses a bunch and starts with what kind? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Mark. Well, you gotta start with apple pie. But he misses a bunch at first. What does he always start with instead? The cherry pie. That is correct. The answer is oh! cherry pie. <laughs> and then Judy proceeds to remind him of all types of pie A through B. Apple, blueberry, apricot. No thanks, Bob. <sighs> I find it more soothing to mentally calculate the Merton's function for all integers through 10 to the 30th power. I list all the types of pie in alphabetical order, starting, of course, with cherry. Um, uh, what about apple, dear? Oh, I forgot apple. Oh, and blueberry. Blueberry, And boysenberry, yes. banana cream, banana coconut right. cream, Boston cream. Let's go, Hugh. Got me, honey. Hey, look at my eye. I think I got them all. Every single pie between apple and cherry. Look at my list. What about blackberry? Blackberry, sure. Tip of the cap there, Mr. Phantom Face, terrifying guy. Mark now has 10 points on the board. I didn't think he was going to make it this far. I'm I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and we're tied. Are we tied? You, no, you are ahead by a point. If we didn't give Al the point with the pizza pie, you would have been ahead by two. Hugh enjoys going grocery shopping to eat what? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. These samples probably, but what would you eat? Give you a hint. If you're a kid in a supermarket, you're going through produce. What's something you might eat in the cart? Yeah, Mark. What are grapes? What are, what grapes, are grapes? Is, is correct. I'm going to the supermarket, and your dad's coming along to eat the loose grapes from the spill gutter around the produce bin. Yeah, grapey grape grapes. Gotta get them before they turn into raisins, because after that, bleh. follow up question. Follow up question to uh, that's open to everybody. Buzzers are now reset. What did Hugh accidentally eat instead of a grape one time? Mark. Cherry Mark. tomato. Cherry tomato. Uh, it's not a cherry tomato. He's, you're not supposed to eat these things. Mm. Al, you got any mm. ideas? Mm. 
Nah. He ate a bolt that fell off a grocery cart. Oh, come on, honey, right this way. It's okay. Your father got overexcited and ate a bolt that fell off a grocery cart. It was grape shape. Yes. Oh. That sounds pretty Hewish. Yeah. In the classic season one episode, I Dream of Jimmy, reference to I Dream of Jeannie, of course, everyone pulls out their brain to Jimmy to show him that they are actually not dreaming, even though that's only something you can do in a dream. But when Judy goes to pull on Hugh's brain, what does she pull out instead? A glow. His tongue. That is correct. Plus, if it was a dream, could I do this? Yeah! Get cute. Your brain's all wet and stretchy. That's my tongue. Look out. I'm going to taste pie with that. He, she pulls out his tongue through his ear. <laughs> Al coming up on the board with 10 points. Mark, you have 11. Anyone's game. Three questions remain. Who could sing the Taco Shack theme song? <laughs> I have no idea. No, I don't know how that one goes. <laughs> Not me. I, I bet you could sing it, Joe. You sing it. Taco Shack, Taco Shack. You'll eat cheese until you yak. Frijoles, they're always black. Give a great big piñata whack. Taco, Taco Shack. Yaha! And that's a point for me. Yeah. <laughs> Getting Joe in on this. <laughs> I was really hoping that adding those questions in, I'd get to see, like, Mark recreate these things, and it's just not happening. <laughs> Mark doesn't remember them, sadly. Mark doesn't remember what he did this morning. He's, like, 50. Or this morning, I remember, but I wasn't singing about the Taco Shack this morning. <laughs> Yo, oh, and they have the best theme song. I think I'll sing it now. Taco Shack, Taco Shack, you'll eat cheese until you yak. Frijoles, they're always black. Give a big piñata whack. Yeah, no! Taco, taco, taco shack. Yeah! You're doing, you're doing oh, life I probably, wrong. I should have been. Yeah. yeah, you're doing it wrong. You're doing life wrong if you're not singing the taco shack theme in the morning. You're probably right. It's a catchy tune. It really is. I know the dance mix. I didn't know the actual mix that we used on the show. They had a dance mix? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nine minutes. Nine minutes club dance mix. Now, now the community is going to do everything they can to get their hands on that. That'd be cool. Name two activities Hugh engages in during Hugh time in the episode Return of the Nanobots. Mark! Mark. He, du he dusts his ducks? He does dust his ducks. He polishes them and cleans them up. I'll give me one more. Mow the lawn in his underwear. Different episode. But, uh, good, good guess. <laughs> I feel like a new man. Oh, the freedom, the comfort, the gentle wafting breeze. Al, you have any uh, rebuttal here? Mark has mm. one point from that. You're still able to score two. Doesn't he, like, hijack a pie truck or something? I'll give you a point for that. He does indeed open up the back of a pie truck, which is absolutely filled to the ass with boxes of pie and enjoys every single one of them to the maximum capacity. It mows pies? No, no, it could never replace the ones I love. But hey, look at all the pie. Yes, I will do it. I will live. Give me one more. Hmm. I can't remember if this is from this specific episode. Doesn't he uh, go like hang gliding or something? Yes, indeed, he does go hang gliding. Wow! Now that is Hugh time. You are absolutely right, and that's that's that ties you up. Mark gets a point for that, which brings you to twelve, and then two points for Al. That's twelve. And we're down to our last two questions. Oh, oh, get out of here! It's all down to this. Fuck, I'm sweating. Well, I, I lied. This is the last question. <laughs> it all comes down to this, boys. Holy shit, I didn't realize that. Sudden death. I, I didn't think it was going to come down to this. I figured if it was a tie, it would be like 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> I had no faith in you. I wanted to let you guys know. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> Oddly enough, what shouldn't be a fun activity, cleaning up after Goddard is 
what Q considers another blank. Mark. Mark. Hobby? It is hobby! That's got it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Jimmy made them all by himself. He does 11 million and four things, except clean up after himself. That's my job. Kind of like a hobby for me, really. Mark DeCarlo. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, 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 so I know, I know, that can clean up a dog shit and call it a hobby. I am so happy. I want to thank the Academy. I want to thank Al. I want to thank Joe. I had no idea all those things were still stuck in my head. Most of them weren't. But with your help, Joe, you dislodged them. I'm glad I could do that. Well done, Al. I think you I think Al was playing possum though. I think he was <laughs> giving me giving me opportunities that I probably didn't earn. You uh you you, you definitely uh you, you definitely kicked ass. Uh, you guys gave me a point too, so we're we're we're, we're all going, we're good. <laughs> we're even. That was great, though. It was so enjoyable. I was so happy we did this. And that concludes the Hugh Nation trifecta. You guys can go watch Uncle Al's Hugh vs. video and Bavo's interview with Uncle Al and Hugh Neutron right now. Links are in the description. Al, Mark, you guys are great. I'm so happy we got to do this. It's an absolute honor working with you guys. And uh, you guys did awesome. Mark, Thanks, Internet! Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having us. Congratulations on your bragging rights, Mark. And uh, Al, I'm, I'm so happy you were able to do this, and I hope it was so much fun for you two to go head-to-head -head with you and try. It was a blast. Yeah, I hope, hope, hope we can do it again sometime. I hope so. That was really fun. Thanks, Joe. Al, you're the master of the Telecaster. Thank you so much, guys. That was fun. Al should have said it was a brain blast. <laughs> it was a brain blast? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and that concludes our show. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, and keep tweeting hashtag Hugh Nation. We're going to get him in the game. Bye, Internet. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching, and I want to give a quick shout-out to everyone who was involved in making this video happen. Of course, I want to first thank Mark DeCaro, who's been a great friend and mentor of mine over the last year and a half for being a part of this and helping create what is now the Hue community, which happens to have a Discord server. You can join in the link below. We have almost 2,000 members and counting, and the one true Hue himself is there. We do Q&As with voice actors and other cast and crew all the time, movie nights and more. It's an absolute blast, a brain blast, as Uncle Al may put it. Uncle Al, it was so awesome having you in this video, and definitely go check out his video, Into the Hueverse, which stars him, Mark, and Megan Cavanaugh, the, the one true Hue and Judy Neutron herself. You can also go check out the first video on the Hue Nation trifecta on Baffo the Bear's channel, where Baffo interviews Uncle Al, and Hue makes a guest appearance. Super big shout out to Forever Boy John on our Discord server, who designed all the character faces for the opening intro and character buzzers. And finally, thanks to Jack Armstrong for the Nick All-Star Brawl Hue Nation renders that made up our background and the character on our cards. Thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to check out the entirety of the Hue Nation trifecta. There's plenty more to come and so much happening. I hope you guys all enjoy this video, and I'm excited to show you what comes next.